Hi, how are you? In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a very interesting camera that I added to my collection a little while ago. I think I bought this camera maybe two or three years ago. I'm quite a big fan of cameras from around the world, and I'm especially interested in Russian cameras, especially Russian cameras from the 60s up to about the 80s. I really enjoy that era of Russian cameras. And this is a camera that I purchased off of a guy actually who didn't live that far from me, a kind of a local guy who was selling his camera collection. And this was one of the cameras that I got for him at a very good price. This is the Zenit TTL camera. It's a 35 millimeter SLR camera. And this thing is built like a tank. I swear it must weigh at least five or six pounds. Not the kind of camera that you'd want to use on a long photo shoot but certainly a fun camera nonetheless. It's got all the typical controls on the top. We have your shutter speed adjustment. The lens is a... The lens that came with this camera is a Helios lens, which I understand many people are big fans of. And this thing is very, very rugged. Probably one of the toughest and most rugged cameras in my collection. So in this review that you're about to see, I'm going to go through this camera, tell you how it operates, tell you my impressions of it, and whether or not I think you should try to add this camera to your collection. So let's have a look at the Zenit TTL Russian camera. So let's have a look at this Zenit TTL 35mm camera. Again, this thing is an absolute beast. Easily one of the bulkiest, most sturdy, heavy cameras I've ever worked with. It really is uh, a monster. But just to look at some of the uh, basic features of the Zenit TTL, starting here we have a self-timer le lever over there. And uh, just to show you, the lens that I have on it is a Helios lens. And it's basically a screw mount. I'll just take the lens off and show you. Okay, so that's what it looks like without the lens. And I've only shot with this camera maybe two or three times. And uh, so I've used this Helios lens. And from what I recall, it's not a terrible lens, but it's not fantastic either. Um, I found that uh, it wasn't really all that sharp, if I remember correctly. Um, but not a terrible lens either. Uh, I bought this camera secondhand off of a local uh, camera guy. Uh, I forget what I paid for it, but it wasn't a big price. I'm pretty sure I got it for less than $30. I think I may have paid $20 or $25 for it, something like that. But basically, that's what it looks like without the lens. On the top there... Starting over on the left, we have the film counter, we have the shutter release here, we have the shutter speed dial, we have the uh, hot shoe up here, and also we have the film rewind lever right there. Mm -hmm. And over here on the right, we also have our dial for selecting the, the ASA setting for the film. Now let's have a look on the back. Pretty standard. Over here we have a little um, door that opens where we put our battery. We have the viewfinder there. And again, this is the lever for advancing the film. And just to give you an idea of what it sounds like when we press the shutter release button. Yeah. So it's certainly a, a hefty camera a kind of rough around the edges camera. I'll also open up the back door and show you what it looks like. Okay. So there we see the inside of the camera. Mm -hmm. And that piece lifts up so we can insert the film, feed it over, and there's the sprockets right there.
and I'll advance the film advance lever once again just to show you what it looks like from this angle yep so that's pretty much it so again I would say the Zenit TTL uh, a very hefty camera if you enjoy collecting cameras from around the world it's a fun camera to add to your collection one other thing I will also mention about this camera when you get to the end of your roll of film like say for example when you get to shot 23 or 24 if you're using a roll of film with 24 exposures I find that this film advance lever is brutal that is when you get to the end of the film if you happen to keep advancing when you've come to the end of the film a lot of cameras won't do this but this camera will tear the film it will pull it right out of the uh, the the post inside the film canister it's that strong so uh, beware of that <laughs> always um, when you when you're getting close to the end of the roll of film again if you're around shot 23 or 24 be very very careful and uh, you don't want to force it because uh, I've had that happen to me twice where when I got to the end of the roll I advanced the lever too far and it completely ripped the film right out of the canister so beware so that's my review of the Zenit TTL 35mm SLR camera again a very quirky camera one of the most unusual cameras in my collection and certainly probably the heaviest camera in my collection so if you're into old obscure especially Russian uh, cameras certainly try to find this one and if you do come across it at a good price I would definitely say give it a try it's a lot of fun to shoot with just be careful about advancing the film when you get to the end of the roll. Thank you for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. And please, as always, subscribe to the channel. I post new tech reviews every week. And if you're into tech reviews, this is definitely the channel for you. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. There's no obligation, but it certainly helps my channel grow. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.